Press the heels together and spiral the thigh bones outwards. Rise to the balls of the feet and bend the knees. Butterfly the legs back whilst keeping the tailbone heavy. Slowly and smoothly open and close the arms before standing to lower the heels. Aim to anchor the big toes and drive the full length of the thigh bones behind the line of the hips. Focus mainly on this backward movement. Watch that the ribs don't slide forward nor the tailbone back and instead lengthen the crown of the head vertically up and out from the base of the pelvis. Expect to feel this in the inner part of the front thigh. Index fingers and the thumbs are touching with hands under the chest. Bend the elbows wide to lower and lengthen to lift the torso. Tuck the toes and float the knees to repeat, tapping knees to ground before hovering and return to start again. Imagine touching the elbow points to the far walls, anchoring down through the index finger and thumb. Try not to tuck the hips. Use the deep abs to stay long through the low back. Remember that progressions are optional. If you feel that keeping the knees down is best for you today, make that choice. You should feel this in the back of the arms, the shoulders and the chest. Slide one hand in the opposite foot away from centre before lifting in a straight line. Return to the start and alternate. Press the full length of the standing shin bone into the mat and lift the armpit of the standing arm. Keep focused on the grounded parts. It will help to improve your balance. Don't just lift the limbs, but stretch them far away from centre evenly. Try not to lean to one side as you move. Rest on the forearms, lifting the armpits high. Push the elbows down and in and the chest high and out. Bend one knee, pulsing toe then heel to tailbone. Stretch legs long as if they're magnetised together. As the leg kicks, lift the thigh bone from the mat and pull the hip bones to navel. Pull the abdominal wall towards the spine to feel this in the back of the legs and glutes.